Hello, bald book geek here, and I'm on a wonky angle. Anyway, um, I've got something a little bit different for you guys today, which I think you guys will appreciate. A review of the Wreck This Journal. Yes, I have two of them, and there's a really good reason for this. Wreck This Journal, for anyone who doesn't know, is, a, is literally what it says on the tin. You wreck this journal. Each page has a set of instructions, and you follow the instructions. Be it drawing in it, be it ripping pages out, be it sewing pages, be it doing random crap with pens. You know, you, you it's great fun, and, you know, it's very random. But there is a reason I have two copies. This is uh, a new copy. Unmarked as new as it looks when it comes out. This is my copy. Let's cover up the back. My address is on here. <laughs> this is my copy. And it's kind of growing. I'm doing it slowly. I've had this about a year or so and I'm growing it slowly. It's a, Some of the things are a little difficult to do. But on the first page, yes, you doodle all over this thing. Yeah, get instructions. Carry this everywhere you go. Follow the instructions on every page. Order is not important. Instructions are open to interpretation. Experiment. And you know what? It's brilliant. It, it got a bit of a hipster reputation, but you know what? This is one of the most fun things you will ever do and it's great for creative dry spells because it is mark making at the end of the day if you've been through art college you will understand what that means it's doing crazy stuff and doing things you wouldn't normally do um scribbling on the sides of the pages for example um it is great and i mean it's purely one of the most enjoyable creative experiences you will ever do and I love it and I've put photos in here and you know I could go on about this for days and days and days there are different variations different feels different different variations of this book that just really are fun because you can get there's all different mixes there's all different versions there's knockoffs there's there's good versions, there's official versions, there's different versions by the same person. It is great, and I got my original one, and this one I got as a little gift, and I'm I think I'll I want to keep one plain, so I can see where it starts to where it finishes. <laughs> you know, it's it is brilliant. Hopefully you can't see too much on that one. It's one of those things that will, if you're creative and you want a way of excising that creativity, it's definitely one thing, one of the best things you'll get. For me, it worked great. I mean, I even put some references to um, Perks Being Wallflower in here. Um, the thing I will say is be prepared to do something that if you're like me that you will hate. Um, wholeheartedly hate doing because one of the instructions on the very very first on one of the first pages is crack this crack the spine yep you crack the spine and that's not easy to do that was the hardest thing for me to do in this and then your OCD with the book breaks and you start playing with it and getting messy with it they are easy to get your hands on, they are pretty much everywhere. Links in the description below, and I also put a link to my Flickr page. One of my Flickr albums where I've posted pictures of what I've done in here for more. Uh, do pick up Wreck This Journal, because you guys will enjoy it, and it's one of the most fun and creative little experiences you will ever have. I'm the Bald Book Geek, I'm out of here. Later guys.